Hello. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. This is Joanne, my wife Joanne. Can I get a picture in front of the sign? Yeah. I like the leg cross there. Yeah. I don't even know how to pose. I said to Elise before we came here. Elise, teach me how to pose. I don't even know what she's talking about. She's talking about angles and 3 o'clock and 12 o'clock and playing with I don't know. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you. How exciting. So, Sophie, how are how were you? How were you chosen to? Yes. How were you chosen to be on Survivor? Uh, I actually applied through the Sears contest. I had a. It was finals week. Um, my friend, you know, I've been talking about how much I love Survivor, and we just filmed the video. I didn't even think they'd look at it. Lost my phone. Found my phone. But a week later, checked the voicemails, and there was a call. So, I've been a big fan. I've watched it since season one. Awesome. Yeah. So, what was your most difficult question uh, from the final tribal? Telling me, I don't even, I don't even remember. Um, did I get difficult questions? I don't think the questions were difficult. I feel like I handled them pretty well. Uh, what was difficult was, you know, being told that I was a pretentious brat, and also I think that I was really offended. Um, I felt like a, li a little bit of the vibe, especially from Ozzy, was coach, this is your game to lose, um, and I didn't feel that was fair. I really felt like the whole game, I felt in control, and I, I think that took a lot away from um, my game to say that coach lost the game because I feel like I won the game. Mm -hmm. I agree. How did you feel about your edit? Um, well, I mean, you always don't like your edit, right? Nobody likes your edit. Does anyone? No. Yeah, yeah. Like People do. I, no, I, I thought it was. Um, I thought it was accurate. Um, but again, I, I think that it showed co coaching control a lot, and maybe. Um, uh, what else about my edit? Um, I think also, I mean, I played a very cerebral game. I played a very logical game. I didn't make big moves. My big move was to constantly assess the situation. Um, and as painful as it was sometimes to stay the course, that was the best thing for me. And I think that doesn't make great TV. Um, and so I think I was, um, that wasn't shown so much. Yeah, it was perfect that you outed Coach, uh, really, to Brandon, especially on the jury, telling him about the idol and him having had that because Brandon told us he did vote for you. And yeah. so, um, did you pre-plan that? Um, it's funny, because before we left, I didn't really get to see much of this episode, before we left, everyone said, let's not throw each other under the bus. And I was like, all right, <laughs> I won't do that. Um, no, I think that it wasn't shown much, but in the last couple tribal councils after the merge, I started to really start um, calling people out. I called out Albert a lot, which is sorry, why he got mad at me. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I started to be much more vocal. Um, and at Final Tribal, I knew that you had to call everyone out and everything. And I think the coaching helped. I think the people on Apollo, um, it was it was good to show that, you know, it brought some light. I, I know when you um, when you got the guys arguing in, yeah. in one of the, I was I reached over to Stacy and I said I said I paused the TV and I said, Look what Sophie did. She yeah. just nobody's looking at Sophie day. right now. That was a really good day. That was awesome. Uh, yeah. You had some really good ones that you did to kind of subtly out people. Yeah, you know. I think I played a very subtle game, um, and I, 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 I was, I think I was lucky, I wasn't lucky, but I, I think the subtle games are often um, unappreciated. I think mm -hmm. Amanda has played subtle games, and she didn't stick up for herself in the end and say, listen, this is what I did. And exactly. so I knew coming into Final Tribal that, um, you know, playing a subtle game is hard because it's, if people don't see it until they mm -hmm. watch it on TV. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Stephen Fishback in his piece season, people say that he should have won, um, but they didn't say that until after they saw him. So I knew right. that, you know, playing a subtle game is one thing, but you also have to make it show, you have to show it to people. Uh, mm -hmm. So I really tried to do that in Final Tribal. Was there anything you wish had been shown that didn't get aired? Gosh, I don't know. Um, more scenes of me seeming absolutely beautiful and amazing. I don't know. Um, no, I, I wish I wish there was a little more. I feel like I um, I was very strategic. I was constantly evaluating things. I was, you know, um, there was a reason I was in the alliance I was in, and I think that my motivations were never quite explained. Mm -hmm. How did Coach win you over that so early in the game? So Coach and I had a talk on the beach day three, day four or something, um, where mm -hmm. he said, you know, I'd really like to play with you, and I thought about it for you know, a little while and then I, I decided you had seen him I had seen him play two seasons and I said this is amazing this guy is you know this guy's never going to turn on me this is my little pawn this is amazing this is the best person to align with mm -hmm. um, and I think that recognizing um, I mean I think a lot of people you saw Christine these are temporary players they're out that's such a superficial way to play the game that's not really thinking about it mm -hmm. um, and I realized yeah as hard as it is to say yeah I'm going to go to a, a you know, returning player to the end that was mm -hmm. the best move for me um, 
And I think Coach, you know, I recognize who he was. He has an ego. He likes it to be stroked. And I think I stroked it. Um, Coach, you know, Coach played a great game, though. He played the best game he has played out of three seasons. You have to get him credit. If he had owned it a little sure. more in final travel, he'd be here with a million-dollar check. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it's unfortunate for him, but I'm having a good time. Sophie, what's next for you? I'm in medical school. I just took my exams two days ago, so I'm going to pay off medical school. You took them from the hotel? I took them from the hotel, yeah. Have you gotten the results? <laughs> I have not, um, but I do not feel good about the results. Um, yes, it's not so good. Cochran said he dropped out for a semester. Cochran, is Cochran and Edna are both trying to convince me to drop out. Edna as a doctor says there's no, there's no future in it. And Cochran just wants everybody to be um, as pathetic as he is right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm holding strong against all these, you know, Ozzy probably thinks I should go live in a beach or something, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay the course here. Well, congratulations again. Thank you. We enjoyed the season. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Yeah, thank you, Katie. Likewise.